Hey everyone, Kiru here. I wanted to make a quick video about The Last Jedi, the latest uh, Star Wars movie. There will be, I guess, mild spoilers. I'm just going to talk about the movie, so if you haven't seen it, maybe bookmark this video and watch it after you've seen the movie. If you don't want to um, uh, have some, uh, some parts of the movie uh, spoiled for you. Um, what I want to talk about is uh, the fact that a lot of people have are having very negative reactions uh, to uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi and why I think that is. There, I mean, obviously there are, you know, any new movie that will come out, especially a sort of important mo movie for fans like Star Wars, will surprise people. Sometimes surprise is a good thing, sometimes it's not. I really like the fact that Ryan Johnson took some chances on this one. Um, but that's my personal uh, opinion, but I think a lot of people, most people who are seeing the movie are missing the point. Star Wars is not just about Star Wars. It is also about real life. It is also about what's going on here and now. I made a video last April or May that turned out to be sort of, pr of a prediction video. I wasn't trying to do one, but... Um, when the trailer uh, um, came out for The Last Jedi, there was a line in it where Luke Skywalker said, it, it's time for the Jedi to end. And that caused a lot of controversy. People didn't know what it was about. And I made a video saying, before even The Force Awakens start, uh, came out, Episode 7, I, I sort of wrote down on, on just on a, a one sheet of paper what I would like this new trilogy to be about because I, I, I thought it, the, the, the original trilogy was really important for people. I think it opened a lot of people to a form of uh, initiation into spirituality through the Yoda character, the Force and all that. Um, but what I didn't like about the original trilogy was that the, the using the Force was reserved to the Jedi. And the Sith, and it was sort of an elite thing. You had to be the chosen one to use the Force. And I thought this new trilogy should be about Episode Seven, Eight, Nine, should be about the the Jedi, the new generation, finding out that the Force is for everyone, and anyone can use it. You know, if they if they take the time and apply themselves. And uh, surprise, surprise, that's what we learn in Episode Eight, and. I think, um, first of all, I'm very happy that this comes out because it makes Star Wars more relevant to the real world. But the the real message that's really, really, really important to, to get uh, for, for the real life, it might piss you off as a fan, but in real life, that's what you need to understand. That's what Luke Skywalker tells Rey during the whole movie. There is no savior. No one's going to help you from outside unless you help yourself. If you help yourself, help will come. More help will come. You'll, that's what you will bring into your life. But it's got to start from you. It's got to start from you. And you don't need to learn that many things. And it's, it's not that difficult. If you understand that you have the power, whatever you want to call it, the force, whatever you want. And that's exactly what happens in the movie. Ray goes to see Luke Skywalker. She's looking for a savior, for the resistance, for whatever, the rebellion, whatever you want to call it, for herself. She's looking for a teacher. And what does Luke tell her? He says, you don't need it. You already have everything you need. Not that you have everything to the level that you need, but you have enough to start. You don't need someone to take you by the hand the whole way and you know, um, fans, Star Wars fans, you know, the word fan comes from fanatic. You're following something, you're making it your, your God, your idol, you know, and, and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of different things, including Star Wars. Uh, you know, you see posters behind me, <laughs> different people that I, you know, that I, I look up to. And, but <clears throat> I never let that get in the way of my power, what I can accomplish. These people are not special. They just realize they have power and they used it. That's it. Just like you have power and you can use it. On this planet, we're in a very um, dire situation, complicated situation. I believe humanity is is going through um, 
you know, there's a possibility of extinction not that far in the future or of, of, of mass suffering at the very least. Um, but I, I, I really think the key to avoiding this and actually, you, you know, either we go towards that or either we go towards, okay, we've learned our lesson, we're changing our ways, and now a whole new world opens where a lot of positive things are possible and a, a completely different way of living. I don't think there's much middle ground. I don't think the status quo is a possibility because if we keep doing what we're doing now, we're just, we're gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. And, you know, I'm fine with it either way. If humanity wants to die, fine. But I really, really believe that we can build something really beautiful, but we gotta stop giving away our power and looking for saviors everywhere. When you look for a savior, you turn yourself into a victim. And that's no good. And so how do we do that in real life? Well, we give our power away to governments. We give it to the school, the medical system, you know, every system that's around us, you know, the system, even money, even money. Now we value money more than people. We've sort of accepted, we've bought into all these lies, you know, that, that the system is there for us and that it's guiding us. And it's, it's taking, it's, the system is a train wreck. <laughs> it's taking us nowhere. So this might be, if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, these kinds of concepts, it, it might sound very cryptic and I might sound like a crazy person to you. Just watch my other videos and you'll see I get a lot crazier. But um, um, I think for people who are a little aware and awake about you know what's going on in the world, I think this last Star Wars movie is a very, very powerful message and it's good news for people like me. I consider myself an activist and it's almost like, hey, we got Disney on board. You know, one of the big major corporations sort of decided to kind of go along and, hey, you know, we're, we're going to take chances. We're going to get hate from fans. They knew that. But we're actually going to put out maybe not the message people want to hear. But the message people need to hear if we're going to move forward. And um, so that's it. I had to rant about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to. I hope this helps. I hope you view this movie with a different, from a different angle and uh, see how positive it is. And, um, and I'm looking forward to episode nine. Hey, have a good one. See ya. Bye.